Well, hello everybody and uh, welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Trakulic and in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can uh, rig, model, rig and animate a flexible spiral cord or cable. All right? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, if you haven't done that already, please go over here to the file menu and from the user preferences uh, head over to the add curve menu and add a curve extra objects uh, add-on. Now I want to press shift A and I want to add the curve extra objects curves galore. Now you can see down here we have some options about the shape of our curve so we choose as shape our helix 3D we set the width to be something really low and also we need for the resolution to be something like 100 maybe, maybe more than that, maybe 500. And we set the end angle to be something like uh, uh, 15,000, something really high. So something like so. So you can see we have this kind of uh, spring here of a spiral cord. So we need also to give it some profile to it. So I'm going to be adding a new curve circle this time and I'm going to be naming it a spiral profile. Okay. So I need to select my, my spiral and I need to go to, go to the curves my data panel and I need to search for bevel object. There I set it to be the spiral profile. So now I need to select my spiral profile and I need to scale it down quite a bit until I get something like this. Okay, so let me show you this from the side view. All right, now I want to add to my scene an armature. So I need to rig my spiral cord to the armature. So shift A, I'm adding an armature, single bone. I'm heading over to this armature here, a button here. Okay, click on that and enable the X-ray option for the armature, so it will be always visible. So I'm tabbing into edit mode for my armature and I'm selecting this bone. First I select this, uh, the tip of the bone and I set this to be uh, almost uh, the same height with the spiral. Select the bone, W, subdivide it a few times. Well, something like so. Now I need to add to my scene a, a curve and I'm choosing curve, nerves path. So now, having selected my nerves path, you can see it here, I rotate it along the y-axis by 90 degrees. I'm pressing Ctrl A to apply the rotation and now I want to switch back to the side view. I want to bring this to be somewhere here. Okay, somewhere here. I'm tapping in mode and I'm adjusting this path. Perhaps I don't need so many vertices, so I'm going to delete those vertices. And I keep just the two of them and I'm adjusting it to be just at the same, of the same height with the armature and the spiral cord. Now I need to select my armature object. So I'm selecting my armature object and uh, I need to add to this object a constraint, a bone constraint. So I first have to switch to the, to the by pressing control tab to the pose mode. I'm selecting this very top bone over here. I'm heading over to the constraints for the bones constraint panel and I'm selecting a spline IK constraint. I am setting the target object to be the, uh, the path that they have just added, the nerves path object, and I'm setting the chain length to be exactly the number of the bones, all right, something like... Uh, and if you see now that uh, we have a certain uh, change in the direction, switching direction the bones, don't worry about that, just switch back to the, uh, to, the, to the object mode, select your path object and tab into that mode and press W and select switch direction. Now you can see our bones are heading up, so that's what we want. Now I want to select my curve, my nerve path curve, and now I want to tab into that mode, let me switch over to the shaded view so you can better see. So now if I, if I move any of the control points of my uh, of my uh, path, you can see of my curve, you can see that the armature is being deformed. All right. Next thing I want to do is to parent my spiral to the armature. So I'm selecting my spiral, shift select my armature, and I want to press Ctrl P and parent with envelope weights. 
And also, having selected my, uh, my spiral uh, cord, I need to head over to the modifiers panel and I need to enable the bind to bone envelopes. And you can see the envelopes in my, uh, my armature and uh, I switch over to the pose mode. All right, you can see the envelopes. If you go to the armature, if you select from the display option, envelope. Now you can see for all the, your bones, the envelopes, all right, they are like circles around or spheres around our armature. Let's switch over to the octahedral uh, view mode for the armature. And now the important thing is that I can select my curve and I, I, I tap into the mode and I can, you can see if I switch over to the, to the shaded view mode, you can see I can uh, deform my spiral cord. All right, that's very, very cool, I think. I can make it to have something like that and you can play around with that. Uh, the important thing uh, is for that for the constraint, the bone constraint for the armature, let me select the bone, this one with the constraint and head over to the bone constraint panel. You, you might want to, uh, to switch over from here, from XZ, XZ scale mode, from none to volume preservation. Sometimes that depends on your, on your preferences, of course. Let me select again my curve. All right, and I want, you can see now the difference between the two. Uh, now we have also a change in the shape, all right, of the, uh, so that the whole volume of the, of the spiral uh, remains the same, exactly the same. So now that depends on your preferences. Uh, personally, I don't need, I don't use that uh, all the time, so I need to switch over uh, to none here, all right. So I prefer this kind of, rather this kind of uh, deformation here. Well, another thing I want to show you is that if you overdo with the deformation of the curve of the path, so let's say that you have given it a shape like this, you can see now you have a deformation along the, uh, the x-axis here of, the, uh, of your spiral cord. All right, so you might want or you might not want that. So, in order for you to uh, minimize this effect of deformation, just select your spiral cord, head over to the modifiers menu, and here you can find a, something that's, that writes preserve volume. So, if you click on that, you can see that although I have given to such a deformation to my curve, I have preserved the original shape of my spiral cord. So, that makes for a more rigid looking spiral cord. So now, uh, all I want to do is to uh, select all my objects, those objects here. I now want to rotate them along the y-axis by 90 degrees, so I can make them to be parallel to the, to the floor. I'm adding a mesh plane here, all right, and you can see uh, that I have this nice effect. I'm selecting, I'm selecting just my, my path, and I'm, because everything else is parented to the path, I can place very easily, okay, my spiral cord on top of the plane, and I want to uh, show you how it looks like. And that completes our tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something from this. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time with a hopefully interesting topic, hopefully soon. Until then, have fun and goodbye.